This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Peninsula Regional Medical Center. The doctors at the new Richard A. Henson Cancer Institute Ocean Pines are PRMC's newest resource to care for you and ignite hope along your cancer journey. Now we are going to give you a little personal time with the radiation oncologist there, Dr. John Mansueti. So prepare to be a little bit surprised with this afternoon's edition of Driving with Docs. This is the day that we get to know the man behind the white coat. <laughs> All righty, let's do it. <laughs> so tell me what it is you do at the hospital. So I'm a radiation oncologist. So that, that basically I use radiation or external beam radiation to try to treat cancer patients. All right, so uh, uh, tell me about the family. Sure. Uh, married, three kids. Uh, wife's Laura. She uh, She's actually a, a teacher, fourth grade teacher at St. Francis here in Salisbury. Uh, really loves her class, loves her job. I have three daughters. Uh, one is in the Navy. She's actually stationed in Spain right now. She's an explosive ordnance disposal officer. Uh, so she'll be there for two years. Wow. And just got engaged, so we're very excited about that. Well, congratulations. Um, and then we, uh, my middle daughter is actually, she graduated from University of Wisconsin with a degree in philosophy, but she's decided to change uh, roots a little bit. She's actually at Salisbury University studying computer science now, so she'll she'll have uh, two majors. And then my last daughter is uh, my youngest is in China right now studying Chinese for a year. So uh, in fact, my middle daughter is with her right now. Wow! Um, so I don't have any man sweaty girls in the country right now. They're oh all, my goodness! <laughs> they're all out of the country. <laughs> so uh, I understand you have dogs. Yeah, I have. Uh, those are my my latest children that uh, <laughs> that I take care of. Uh, I have a, a black. Uh, Black lab uh, and a and a yellow lab, and they are a blast. Uh, yeah. They're they're my kids right now. So it's, it looks like you spend a lot of time in the water. Yeah, that's uh, I love the Eastern Shore. Got a picture here of you kite surfing. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that is a great sport. I just took it up about three years ago. The great thing about it, you can take it up at 50 years old, which is basically what I did the first time I ever tried it. Uh, so, so a real thrill, a lot of fun, and uh, highly recommend it. We need to get you out there. Oh my, <laughs> that that would be our blooper show for uh, sure. And you do regular <laughs> surfing too. Yeah, that's uh, once again, I didn't get into that till just a few years ago too. So it's a little bit tougher trying to learn these things at 50 rather than you know 15. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, let me ask you this: Are you still a pilot? Uh, I have uh, flown a couple times since I got out of the Navy. Uh, I don't know if you knew, but I was in the Navy for 26 years. What's, and, what's this jet you're in front of? Um, that is an F-18, actually. My actual real fleet jet I flew was the F-14 Tomcat, and I did that for about nine years. But um, after I uh, was a pilot, I decided to go to medical school in the Navy. And so the military has a medical school in Bethesda. So I went to the military medical school. When I graduated from there, I actually became what's called a flight surgeon. So. I was, uh, which is basically a doctor for pilots. So what's the deepest, darkest secret that you don't want anybody to know? Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, you thought this was going to be an easy oh, ride, didn't you? Goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm actually scared of heights. <laughs> Are you really? Wait a minute, you're a pilot. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's funny. Yeah, you get me on the ledge of a cliff and I'm nervous. <laughs> So what about flying makes it different? There's no, yeah, there's, you're in an airplane, it doesn't feel like you're on the edge of a cliff about to fall off, so. Uh, <laughs> so you, you've said how much you love it here, and yet vacations, one typically goes away from where you are. Got a favorite vacation spot? Uh, we actually love Europe, uh, and we uh, were in France uh, about a year ago. I had a great time there, visited Normandy. I really wanted to see the, uh, the cemetery honoring our servicemen, and uh, it's really, um, it's very deep. It's an uh, incredible uh, place to visit and to see what our soldiers had to do that day on the beaches of Normandy uh, when we invaded um, Europe is unbelievable when you actually see it in real life. Yeah. And so that was uh, that was quite an experience. Doctor, I gotta tell you, thank you for everything that you do because I know you've gotta be putting in the hours. Well, thank you for the drive. This has been quite a pleasure uh, to be taxi to my uh, front door. <laughs> now, before uh, dropping off Dr. Mansueti at PRMC, I asked him what was the hardest thing for him to do? And he said, well, at work or, or in life? And I said, well, you tell me. And this is what he said. Work-life balance, making sure you do a good job at work, but have time for your family and friends. He also said that a really difficult thing as an oncology doctor 
is doing the best you can, but the rare occasion that he has to tell his patient that they're just not getting better. Well, now you know the man behind the lab coat. Amazing man, isn't he?